node in Scorpio, south node in Taurus. If you have your north node in Scorpio, I'm going to help you truly understand what that means and how to make the best use of north node in Scorpio and how to master north node in Scorpio. Now, when you have north node in Scorpio, you also have south node in Taurus. Okay, so I'm going to break this down in full detail what this means okay now before i begin make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribe make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified every time i post new videos let's get into north node in scorpio south node in taurus now when you have this placement you're here to follow a life path centered around being focused transformative complex emotionally and complex financially okay north node has to do with our life path and the path that we're supposed to take so when you have north node in scorpio you're here to follow a life path centered around scorpio like things which has to do with being focused transformative complex emotionally and complex financially all right so we're going to get into that a little bit more you came into this life with an understanding of how to accumulate your own wealth and resources, but in this life, you're here to get involved with other people's wealth and resources to become wealthy, okay? So the South Node tells you the type of things that you came into this life already understanding. We all come into this life with certain talents and skills, things that we already have understand pretty much. So when you have South Node in Taurus, you came into this life with an understanding of how to accumulate your own wealth and resources. But in this life, you're here to get involved with other people's wealth, other people's resources to become wealthy. OK, you try to take the easy way out by being lazy and stubborn instead of transforming yourself to become something greater. OK, South Node also tells you how you try to take the easy way out of life because and you try to avoid the path of highest growth. See, the path of highest growth is not easy. It's not something that comes naturally towards us. It's something we have to really push and work towards. So for you, it's very easy when you have this placement. It's very easy for you to just take the easy way out and just be lazy and stubborn. And now what's difficult is transforming yourself to become something greater. You literally transform yourself and become a different person to become something greater, okay? When you have North Node in Scorpio, South Node in Taurus, this is similar to having North Node in the eighth house, South Node in the second house, all right? So you wanna make sure you study that as well. Study North Node in the eighth house, South Node in the second house. It's very important. In your past life, you are the type of person that was very pleasure oriented and open about your pleasure seeking ways. You were headstrong and money oriented, but in this life, you're here to be less pleasure oriented and be more focused, controlled, and private as it relates to sex and intimacy, okay? South Node tells you about your past life and how, who, the type of person that you were in your past life. So when you have South Node in Taurus, you were a, a, a Taurus-like person in your past life, meaning you were very pleasure-oriented. You were open about your pleasure-seeking ways. You were headstrong, tough, stubborn, and you were money-oriented. But in this life, you're here to be less pleasure-oriented and be more focused and controlled. See, you're still as pleasure oriented, but you're more controlled about it, which is Scorpio. You're more focused. You're not as lazy. You're more private. You're not as open about your pleasure seeking nature as especially as it relates to sex and intimacy. Okay. So this is very important. Being lazy, predictable, and stubborn, refusing to change will take you away from your path of highest growth, okay? So being Taurus-like in a negative way, meaning you're lazy, predictable, and stubborn, refusing to change, that will take you away from your path of highest growth. You feel like transforming yourself and merging with others' problems and resources gets you on track to your path of highest growth, okay? So this is similar to like a therapist. You know, therapists, what they do is they get involved with other people's problems, and like, for example, like a banker, what they do is they get involved in other people's resources, right? So when you have this placement, you feel like transforming yourself and merging with others' problems and resources, that takes you to the on track with your path of highest growth and what will really push you towards what you want and what will challenge you to grow. How to make best use of your North Node when you have North Node in Scorpio. Get heavily involved with others and their affairs and resources. Transform yourself. Be obsessive about what you want and stay focused. Don't let pleasure and constantly seeking pleasure control your life. All right, so this is very important. When you have North Node in Scorpio, get heavily involved with others and their affairs and resources. Transform yourself. 
Be obsessive about what you want and stay focused. Don't let pleasure and constantly seeking pleasure control your life. All right. That's how you make best use of your North Node when you have North Node in Scorpio, South Node in Taurus. I hope you gain value from this video. Thank you for taking the time out to watch my video. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Take care.